Hello, my name is Dr. Di Milnes and I'm a clinical geneticist with Genes Australia. This is a short video uh, discussing Fragile X syndrome, particularly in the context of preconception carrier screening. Typically, preconception carrier screening uh, is looking at conditions that are severe onset in childhood for which there is limited or no treatment. It is generally uh, it has no implications for carrier parents. However, there are a few conditions on the carrier screening panel, depending on which panel you choose, that may have implications for the carrier parent. And one such condition, uh, the most common condition um, that falls into this category is Fragile X Syndrome. Fragile X Syndrome is the most common inherited cause of intellectual disability in boys and in some girls. Uh, it also may present with autism spectrum disorder and other behavioural disorders uh, and uh, anxiety, particularly social anxiety. A parent is generally not aware that they are a carrier unless there is already a family history of Fragile X Syndrome. Symptoms that carrier parents of Fragile X Syndrome may experience uh, include primary ovarian insufficiency and Fragile X Associated Tremor and Ataxia Syndrome or FX TAS for short. Primary ovarian insufficiency uh, is early loss of eggs and subfertility with irregular menstrual cycles and a low AMH on blood test. Women with um, primary ovarian insufficiency typically enter menopause uh, about five years earlier than women who do not carry this condition. The chance of a woman who carries Fragile X syndrome of developing primary ovarian insufficiency is up to 30%. And this depends on the particular test results that you, uh, that you return. FX TAS is a neurodegenerative condition which has Parkinson-like uh, features. Uh, people present with an unsteady gait uh, and can also have a tremor uh, and cognitive decline. Uh, it is typically onset after 50 years of age and there's currently no treatment for it. The chance of a premutation carrier, uh, which is a carrier of Fragile X syndrome, developing this condition is up to 17%. This means the majority of people who are carriers for premutations for fragile, fragile X syndrome will not develop FX TAS and will also not develop POI. But it's very important that you are aware of these conditions before consenting to proceed with the test. The test is simply a blood test, uh, which will measure um, whether you are a carrier or not and provide us additional information to help stratify your risk of developing one of these conditions. It would also provide information uh, for stratifying your risk of having a child with Fragile X syndrome. So if you would like to learn more about this condition, we're very happy to see you or there are resources uh, available on the Fragile X Association website or on uh, the Genes Australia website uh, and ask your doctor uh, for, for more information. I hope this has been helpful to you uh, and we'd be very happy to speak to you further. Thank you.